I quote the activist who met at the Census Bureau, including Linda Sarsour, a, a radical uh, Palestinian activist, the very idea that the Census Bureau brought people like Linda Sarsour uh, to its offices in 2015 to advise on the creation of MENA, tells you everything you want to know about this, about agency capture by the left. Um, they, they were very clear about in, when they were discussing what to do. First, they wanted to model it on Hispanics. Then they discussed the fact that, look, Arab Americans do not want this. I'm not going, I'm not, I'm not asking for the MENA category, but then a professor uh, of ethnic studies said, uh, yeah, but once they understand that uh, there will be benefits associated with the category, benefits in terms of racial preferences, in university admissions or hiring practices or government contracts, they, they will embrace it. And it showed right away how this is really one of the, one of the things that is about this is using these racial preferences as a gateway drug to identity politics. Um, but it showed also that you could derive benefit from proving that you're not white. Right. You you might call it oppression privilege, right? It's it's become totally inverted. You you quote Linda Sarsour in the book as uh, pointing out that she began to wear the hijab, which she now wears in all of her public appearances, because without the hijab, she was just another white woman.